Paul Saya from Digidapter. Today we're here to show you how to install the inner ring on a Pentax PF80 scope with a 20 to 60 eyepiece. Okay, we're here with the Pentax eyepiece that's a 20 to 60, and this is the ring that comes with your Digidapter kit. And if you notice, it's a very, very thin ring. And on one end of the ring, um, if you search with your fingernails, you'll notice one side has a little step in it. And that's really important for the way you install this. So the first thing you do is you unscrew your eye cup on your eyepiece and remove it. And you're going to test fit the ring that I've sent you. And you'll notice it's a very, very snug fit. It should slide on all the way to the end of the eyepiece easily. Uh, you can see there is some friction there because of the fit. That's what makes Digidapter so accurate is there's no slop in anything. And once you've test fit that, you're going to remove it. You're going to reinstall your eye cup, your adjustable eye cup. And this is really important. When you reinstall the uh, eye cup, you just want to very gently, two fingers, you notice it comes to a stop and just a little bit more. And as you tighten this eye cup, it swells the rubber up on this edge a little bit. And that's actually what we use to generate the friction fit for the ring. So the next step is your, your ring's gonna come pre-lubricated with a, uh, uh, a little silicone lubricant. And you're gonna, the step side is gonna be towards the out. And you'll slide this over. And you're gonna notice it's a little bit firmer this time. And you're gonna work it over and there's quite a bit of friction. You're gonna get it down to here. You'll turn the eyepiece straight up and down and then push all the way down firmly to see uh, that lip that was on the inner ring is now squeezing on the rubber and it makes a really nice fit. Now, if you notice, if everything is correct, when you grab your inner ring here that we just installed, you notice that the eye cup is still functional. And as long as it doesn't slip, if you're trying to rotate it and the ring is slipping, what you do is you unscrew the inner ring and it's going to take the eye cup off with it. Okay, it comes off. You'll take your eye cup Again, reinstall it till it stops. You'll tighten it where you did the last time, which was that much. Only this time, if it, again, if your inner ring is not tight enough, you'll tighten it just a little bit more. And that swells the rubber out and you go back and you reinstall this ring again. Okay, see it's firmer this time. You get it all the way down, again, making sure that your eye cup rubber, is that last little bit, is firm. Okay, so now we're set. We have a really nice fit. That ring is on nice and snug. And your ditch adapter will now slide on just like this. Uh, one thing that should be noted too, and, and, and this really goes with all digiscoping, um, this is a small camera, but a lot of cameras have a larger um, lens on it. And especially on the Pentax, if you unscrew your, uh, your adjustable eye cup, it may prevent the camera, the camera lens may hit that before it gets close enough to your actual eyepiece. So when you're digiscoping, and when you do your original setup, make sure that you collapse the eye cup all the way down to its lowest setting, set your camera up, and then always use your uh, digiscoping and your digadapter based on uh, that eye cup being fully collapsed. Or if you move it out, it's going to change all your settings uh, of your digiscoping system. So anyway, that's just something to be aware of again keep that eye cup collapse all the way down um, for best results. Make sure that lens gets as close to your eyepiece as possible.
So there you go. Enjoy your new digi Digiscope adapter uh, from Digidapter for the Pentax Scope.